This video may not be appropriate for children of 13 and under. Parental discretion is advised. Hi everyone, my name is Raziel Kane and I'm back doing a little bit of this because I received a ton of these for this guy over there. Uh, Generation Select uh, Guardian Robot. I was going to say Omega Supreme. Who's right there? But yeah, Guardian Robot. Um, uh, Black Friday uh, sale at Toy Hacks prompted me to actually get this set. Um, it's not a necessary set in the sense that the Guardian robots and I never had a you know toy accurate or a toy uh, back in G1. Uh, we only had the one Omega Supreme and maybe the Diaclone version. Uh, but this color scheme was only shown in the actual show, and it was you know standard animation, plain, uh, not many details. Uh, so he's actually more cartoon accurate. Uh, then I'm going to make him, but these uh, decals, there's tons of those and they look amazing. But this is going to be a titan -esque task because it's going to take me a couple of days probably. You know, not that it's that long, it's just, you know, busy with other stuff at this time of year and everything. So. But uh, I'm looking forward to it. So thanks for coming by. Uh, before I do the toy hacksing um, and the review, I just want to remind everyone to check out my voice acting playlist, the main feature of my channel, something I'm very proud of. And also check out DJC Collectibles, my sponsor, a fantastic online store. And at the end of this video, you can get your 10% discount code for anything Transformers. And now let's roll the intro. It's a guardian from the earliest days of Cybertron, even before the Great War against the Decepticons. All right, and I apologize in advance for the um, handheld view of uh, this toy because it's uh, I don't have a setup for a Titan. But I just want to show him a little uh, before. This is what you get out of the box, except for the Patriot Prime stickers, which he had graciously sent me a while back and um, I'm not gonna remove it uh, whatever they have uh, for the chest plate it's I'm gonna keep this because I've been calling this guy Patriot Supreme after someone on Facebook mentioned that when I posted the picture and I just kept calling him Patriot Supreme since then so uh, so yeah the Garden robot looks really good as is uh, but the decals are gonna be pretty amazing for the decals, you have the treads, which are looking pretty good. You have these decals. You can see the plate right here that I'm not gonna use. Uh, and then you have lots of little details here. That's good. You have this section here. I really don't know where they go. I mean, I could theorize, but I'm just not going to. You have this uh, sheet here. Looks really good. Lots of blue steel plates. That's interesting. Tons of tiny details over here. A little bigger decals here. Looks good. Again, tons of uh, foil backing decals. They all look really good. And then here you have a ton of faction uh, symbol. Not a ton, but a couple. So I don't know where they go, but that's going to be interesting. So all right, final shot of Guardian Robot in robot mode. And we're going to go to uh, the paint shop. OK, and we're three days later. And I went through all of these here. So these are seven of the 12. It says out of 11, but there is a 12th one. Uh, so these are all empty. And then what's left on this one is these here and here. I went with the golden one, more of a sunset type of uh, color because it's uh, for the cockpit of the rocket. And I thought that was nice. You have these two left over here. I honestly can't recall where they go. You have this one here, which goes, um, where does it go? Oh, that's part of the rocket. And I used an alternative one. So I used one on the rocket. And this one I actually replaced with uh, the guardian symbol on this sheet. That's the 12th one that's not technically part of the set of 11 I don't know these go on the chest piece of the robot which is this one here and you can see where the guardian ro uh, symbol is you can have uh, these three here 
But the thing is that these three, I don't even know where these goes. Um, mind you, I didn't specifically look for it. But if you see a guardian symbol somewhere during the review, that probably is a cover for that. Probably on the tank, I'm thinking. Uh, so we'll see. But I did not use this because I really like the idea of having the uh, Patriot Prime. Like, I'm a big fan of his work, uh, of his channel, uh, supporter, channel member. And the fact that I have these decals on my Guardian robot, just it means a lot to me. So, so yeah, I have this extra piece. And now, okay, what I'm going to do is show you, it's going to take a while because there is a lot of stuff. So I'm going to do robot, but then more in details, the base, uh, the rocket, the tank, because yeah, it's a, uh, it, it's a com complete set. So you have, well, if I spin it like that, you have this decal here, this here, and this small one here. You have all of these decals on each side. Uh, are I guess they're kind of windows, if you want to call it that. There's this piece here, uh, two parts that lifts from this section. Uh, those are clear and, you know, uh, clear background. You have a little arrow here, my PPR uh, logo. Uh, you have pieces on the chest here, here, and here. And I'm going to have to do this in multiple phases. Uh, so you have pretty much the same thing on the other side. If you, I'm not gonna do the whole rocket uh, right now because that's a piece by itself. Uh, and if I remove this, you have uh, decals all the way here. Even goes around to the interior of the arm, well, the shoulder. That little one here. And this is also for the shoulder, which you don't see in rocket. Everything else we'll see in rocket mode. And so that's the upper half or upper third of uh, the Guardian robot. So let's go for the crotch area. In the crotch area, you have this little decal here, here, and those two here, and this one here. It looks really good. You have those little triangles on top here. You have a crotch decal, which I'll try to give you a better look. There you go. And then you have these uh, upper tie decals. They look really good. Kind of rotate him. Not sure if. Oh yeah, there is stuff. Um, he's kind of. Hold on. Uh, I don't want to, you know, hide stuff away. And he's knocking everything down. You have this side decals here, but that's more for the base decal. But it's easier to show in this mode. Uh, what do we have? We do have this, which will also show in base mode, I believe. So we might have a better look at it. Uh, but just in case, here it is. It looks really good. Uh, in the back, hold on, I'm just gonna... Well, you have the butt, the, the butt cheek decal, I guess you could call it. This is gonna show more in base mode. And so will this... Sorry, I know I'm knocking the phone. It's really awkward to shoot a Titan. Uh, and I'm just showing you the robot specific decals because everything else just makes the whole thing shine. Uh, but overall, he looks amazing. Uh, so, all right, let's go for the, uh, the legs, the lower legs. All right, for the legs, you have, well, let me grab him a little bit just to, it, on the side we'll see later, but up here, this is in Chinese or Japanese, and I have no clue what it means. I don't even know if it's upside down or on the right side. You have this decal here. You have those little four decals there and um, this big one here. Uh, another Japanese text. And then you have the foot right here uh, go all around the toes. That's pretty much what you have for the robot mode because everything else kind of shines more in rocket tank like all the individual modes so we're gonna go with that uh right now i'm gonna show you the um base mode uh, before the decals and then after that i'll ind individually show you the decals for each piece okay. 
Okay, uh, but the base mode, before I apply the decals, doesn't fit the screen. So when I will do the um, Toy Hacks presentation, I'll actually separate it by component. So it might be a little different than what I usually do. The only thing that I know is, uh, well, I don't want to say different, but you had an option to turn the rocket uh, on Siege Omega Supreme, you could turn it into a base for Countdown. Uh, and, uh, but it was a separate decal set. And it's uh, in here, they didn't do a, a base uh, uh, decal set for uh, Lunar Tread. So the, the interior of the rocket doesn't seem to be getting anything with this set, so. But it's all good. So this looks, it's already looking pretty good. We've seen this. Um, now, hopefully, with toy hacks, we're gonna get major enhancement. All right, on to the paint shop. It's not even a paint shop at this point. It's just you hire a crew to, you know, paint your base. Okay, rocket mode first. Uh, yeah, this is gonna be, okay, there's, I'm gonna rotate it as I go and we're gonna go from right to left. So there's nothing on the tip, okay? Nothing to show uh, on this section here, no decals. Uh, but when you get to the um, next section, you have uh, this great decal, looks really good. You have a danger sign, which I might have, you know, applied backwards. Uh, nothing for this part here, which is the door. And then the danger sign again. Um, so maybe I should have uh, do this on the other side. On this piece here, you have a little arrow. Um, yeah, and a yellow, uh, that's clear uh, decals. You have a blue decal here, this nice looking three-parter here, like that. This is the, the one where I could have used a alternative logo, but I chose to keep this one uh, on the back side. Uh, you have this again, the arrow, and in here you have a little cockpit area, which I could have used the blue, but I went with this color instead. I think it looks a little better with the gold chrome. So I guess this is where Lunar Tread would uh, be, uh, you know, staring from. And then you here you have the guardian symbol, which looks really good. Now here on this section, you do have, okay, this is painted blue, so they put gray plast, uh, a gray decal here to match the gray here. And then they give you a blue decal here to cover the gray so that now both sides are kind of the same. And then you have those little window decals. Uh, you have to be careful. Uh, there's two that specifically go over this section here. Uh, you have a danger a 8401 uh, decal here another clear one looks really good and then on this side it's uh, different it's uh, arrows all right and they go both ways uh, so if you want you can place them any way you want or maybe there's a specific version that uh, direction and I screwed it up uh, just be careful not to be uh, you know don't apply uh, blue uh, decals over blue plastic I don't know what kind of idiot would do that but Certainly wasn't me. <laughs> now on this section, you have this here and you have a, a thread, I guess, all the way around. Looks really good. Uh, on the other side, same thing, but they do have specific version. There's a shorter one here to cover for the, well, to not cover the joint. Looks good. You have again the windows, the gray and blue, and then the same symbol on this side. The danger again. Oh, this one kind of peeled off a little bit. And then at the end of the uh, section, you have uh, the same pattern of mechanical gizmos all around. You have one little decal here, uh, and then it goes all around. Uh, be careful when you apply this, because there is a blast effect port on each side, so you want to make sure that you use the one with the hole. Uh, it helps a lot. Oh, and then here you have little arrows. You have three one for each of the in-between claws. Or actually, this would not be a claw. This would be the uh, um, support or the stand or whatever in rocket, rocket mode. 
so it looks really good it's kind of hard to show the whole rocket but uh, you know to give you a quick idea this is what it looks like now so I like it lots of details I didn't expect that much on the rocket and now let's go to the tank mode all right the tank do get a lot of details and i really like what they did on this uh, piece so if you go from the front you have a go thing here go go charge no charge okay i don't know it's too small for me to read you have little headlights here and here and then you have little bumper stickers uh, up front you have this blue piece here uh, plus these decals here, which we kind of saw on the chest. Uh, you have the blue rails, the blue steel plates, looks really good. And then you have one here, and you also have one right here. So, looks really good. I like it. I like when they do steel plates like that. Um, you have, well, okay. For the cannons, you do have three red decals, two to go on top like this. And then you have one that goes over that little gray section. Uh, that was fun to align and that little arrow you have that I don't know it, it's either a pointing finger with stars I don't understand this reference they just showed the put it there and it looks okay uh, on the side you have uh, arrows and uh, little uh, patterns like that little treads uh, you have these here uh, to give more of a mechanical look to the tread mechanism it looks really good you have uh, nice headlights, mechanical gizmos again, looks really good. And then you have a on or off switch. I find that's uh, very interesting. Maybe I did not own a G1 toy. Maybe that's where the switch was. And that's reminiscent of that. I think if that's what it is, that's really, really cool. Same decals on the other side. You have on the cannon. Yeah, I forgot to show. There is that stripe that goes around up here and then you have this one around the uh, triangle well you know little house looks like a little house uh, on this side uh, not much for pin covers but tricky stuff was the interior because uh, they did put decals uh, there so you have a little red arrow right here uh, on the clear plastic you have this whole ah uh, man i'm gonna need a little more light hold on it's good kind of okay so you have three decals here and two on each side uh so that when you want to pop lunar tread out and then you can oh sorry i'm hiding it so you have this decal here um plus those two headlights and this one here and then you have one all the way in the back and that one if you want to apply it properly uh what i suggest you to do is open it like that and then apply it on this side it's gonna be much simpler uh, to do like that and also for the steel plates that they put right here because um, if you try to apply that from the front when it's in complete tank mode uh, you're gonna scream your lungs out I don't know anybody who would try to do that <laughs> so there you go so that's the tank mode and I think it looks really good. He really has more details. It's less plain. Uh, I wouldn't call it more menacing, but uh, you know, sure. Uh, you see that on, uh, on Battlefield and uh, it uh, just uh, shines a little more. I guess that's bad because if it shines, it's easier to spot and then you can just missile it, but whatever. And now let's go for the, well, part one of three of the base mode. Part one of the base mode is the threads and they don't fit well on my um station so let's go like this uh they're both identical um you have the blue plates uh, i was kind of expecting a cover for the joint here but there wasn't any uh but then all of these are individual decals and you have to be careful because th there's molded details on each one and the decals have to go around that like the, you peel off a quick uh, bit of a section of the decals uh, it's already cut but you have to be careful and they actually tell you uh, to uh, go from the interior to the exterior and you have to look for the 
Uh, I don't know if you can see it, but there's an R1 right there. So you have to make sure you know which one is the right thread and which one is the left thread. And my left thread wasn't identified. So I just know that this is the right thread. Uh, so be careful with that. Uh, but uh, there's nothing underneath. But uh, the, uh, the details, they added those uh, little things here all the way around. And then you have those uh, three, well, six, 12 uh, little blue, uh, blue light decals. They recommend on these here, you might want to, there's a, like a spruce uh, mark, so you might want to shave it down a little bit. But uh, I didn't, and um, you know, it, when it's in a, on the back of the robot, it looks okay. And these are, this was just long to apply, not complicated. Uh, this one, they curve a little bit, so it's a little more tedious, but looks really good. All right, so those are the uh, base ramps, not threads, ramps uh, of the, uh, the base mode. So now we're gonna look at uh, part two of the base. All right, so part two of the base mode is gonna be this area, uh, the interior, and then we'll do the exterior. Because the interior, uh, kind of tedious to apply because you have to go in there and if you have, you know, big hands or it's kind of hard but it's it's worth it um, let's start with the top you have the helicopter pad with uh, two decals on each side looks really good but that's all you get uh, on top you have these uh, little red uh, you know squarish thing uh, lights I guess so you have silver highlights right here uh, then you have the blue decal here and here and then you have a I Don't even know what this says I'm guessing the Guardians were more present in the Japanese continuity or something because I have no clue what uh, this all say But the colors are nice. You have all these little decals to apply one by one on each side It's not easy, but it looks good. You have a this kind of looks like an elevator shaft uh, covered in golden plastic because this is an elevator door. And then you have one decal here, one here. Uh, well, no, you have one decal that goes around, one decal on top, and then you have the door. Uh, if I get them a little closer, you have them on both sides. It looks really good. Right here, you get those blue steel plates. Uh, that also uh, looks really good. Sorry for the camera, but there's so much I can do. Uh, this area here, you have uh, on the extremities, you have uh, this uh, and then this. You have these two decals here. And then right here, you have the uh, little blue thing. So that looks good. And on the side, I'll just do a quick handheld shot. So on the interior, sorry it's not zooming properly well. Kind of okay. So you have these decals on this side. Uh, and then on the other side you have similar ones. But Toy Hacks says that you can apply these as you go. The only important part is to not put any decals in this section here at the bottom. Because this is where the uh, tank clips in. All right, let's go to part three of the base. All right, part three. Um, let's start with, because you don't sh see those really that well when the, the ramps are on. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight decals underneath. That looks really good. Then, you know what, let's, uh, let me rearrange this. I really don't want to uh, do a bad job. Actually, you know what, let's go keep doing the interior I'll just open this up you have the back leg decal here uh, again Japanese or Mo well, maybe it's not Japanese maybe that's just Cybertronian I mean I think I've been wrong this whole time this is Cybertronian now nah, this one's bigger I see it now okay so I apologize to the whole of Japan if I insulted your culture I'm a total jackass right now uh, Anyway, so you have the ramp. Uh, the ramp, for something that's on the inside that you don't really see, uh, lots of decals. You have one major one all around. And then you have this one here, 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 and this one here. 
everywhere, both sides. So that's a lot of uh, decals. You have this little window here, or that technical spec. Then you have the, uh, well, the butt cheek. Now it's uh, on the uh, interior. And you have pretty much the same thing on the other side. Nothing different. On. All right, hold on. Let me place it so that we can see it. So, all right, so this is the top. It's just that I'm angling it so that we can actually see the details. So you have these, which I've shown earlier. Uh, so you have all those decals all around and you have this, you know, mechanical pattern. And then all on the leg, uh, the, the ramp part of the leg, you have this one big decal all the way here, plus a little one here and then two at the bottom. And then it goes, maybe if I can shine some more light. Uh, hold on. Well, it's not that much better. Uh, and then you have one all the way, well, three decals all the way in the middle. And of course you have that on both sides of the base. And I think it all looks good. Uh, but this is all the, and I'm probably skipping. Let me see if I have anything in the back. Uh, that's the ramp. That's the little arrows. No, that's pretty much it. I mean, I've showed you the toes. Yep. All right. Let's set him down. Um, this is what it looks like from this angle. The, you know, the interior of the base and everything. Uh, that took me a while to apply all of these. Uh, there's so many little details everywhere. Uh, these, they, they take forever to apply and there's plenty of them. Like there's on every side of the robot, there's some windows. So even on the rocket. And so, yeah, that, uh, that took a while. Uh, you have, oh, I forgot to show there's these uh, big windows here. That looks really good too. I like those. I kind of was expecting some decals for here. Uh, or, you know, maybe here, uh, but you know, you can't cover everything. It's not a wrap. It's uh, decals. Looks really good. All right. Let me give you a final shot of the whole base. And like thousands of people ask me what happened to Lunar Tread? Uh, no decals for him, but you know, he has a nicer, um, rocket or a base, you know, if you want to put him down here. So this is what it looks like, the whole thing together, all the decals. Sorry about the lighting, but this is, it's not easy to uh, review Titans and playing decals. You know, you would think big decals for big figures. No, just more tiny decals for big figures. But it looks really good from a distance. You know, you put that on your shelf. Oh. Uh, lights in the way. Let's move that. It's more in the way now. Anyway, uh, looks really good. I'm uh, happy with uh, the result of this set. Uh, worth it. Um, well, you know, worth it with the Black Friday discount. That helped uh, a whole lot. But I really enjoyed doing this set. I mean, it took me forever. Um, but, oh, gotta put that up. Come on. There you go. You know, never forget the tip. All right. Well, thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you didn't, or if you did, please let me know either way. And uh, yeah, because uh, I mean, it's uh, it was really fun. It's worth it. If you have the Legacy Generation Select Guardian, I absolutely recommend it. Uh, you owe it to yourself to get yourself some uh, nice decals. So thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this review. If you did, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Also, leave a comment. Love reading those. Keep coming back after more on the way. And remember. Nothing in life gives you a right to be an asshole. Take care.